Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Sadly, the public test build is over. It ended about three hours ago. So we can't play, we can't test the game anymore. As you can see, we're back to the standard menu. When I turned on my PC today, the game automatically reverted and uh, went back to the 1.4.2 patch. And uh, that's it, it's over. They've got the testing that they needed. They said that about 10% of the community of players participated in the PTB, which was more than they had the last time they had a public test build that they asked us to test. And I think it went fairly well. We'll find out tomorrow. Um, in about 21 hours, the, de the developers will uh, issue a statement, let us know what's going on. And we may even see the new chapter as early as Tomorrow, Friday, depends on how everyth how everything went. I personally didn't really experience any issues with the PTB. I was afraid it was going to be really buggy because they were very slow to release it. Uh, when they were saying that the game was crashing, I thought it was going to have a lot of issues, but I didn't find that. It worked very well for me. Um, I guess the bonus to this is that we will get into a lobby fast. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the jump is that black shirts, black lead for, left for dead shirts are gone. So that stuck out to me right away. But on the bright side, we're going to get to keep our points now and we'll get into lobbies quicker, right? It should be no time to get into a lobby. So I guess from here on out, all I'll do is um, just start stockpiling points. I really wanted to play killer for you guys. I tried. I spent about an hour trying to get the, the PTB to populate a game for me where I was killer. I don't know if it was just because I was such a low level that um, I'm a low, low, low level killer, only like rank uh, level four trapper. So if it had trouble matchmaking me, if all the players who are in the PTB are just really experienced, so it didn't make a match for me. I don't know what the issue was. But I literally sat in front of the PC for an hour, not uh, all at one time, but different times trying to get a game where I could play Trapper because I wanted to physically see what Bloodlust looked like from the, the point of view of the killer and I wanted to see what the, uh, the limitation was for the radius around a hook where a trapper would now be allowed to put a trap since they can't put a trap under a hook i wanted to see how close to the hook they could put it how large you know the bubble was if it was five meter radius or or how big it was um and i wouldn't mind playing some hag too now that they have the instant teleportation for the hag i would have uh I think I would have liked playing the hag. I was going to try it if I could have gotten into a game, even though I hate her perks. My son has her built up to level 28, and I looked at the perks, and I really don't like them because so many of them are tied to to uh, totems, and I don't really like totem perks because I feel like the, the survivors just can take them away from you so easily. So um, I would have still played some hag if I had the chance. But it is what it is. Hopefully, we've given the developers all the data that they need to move forward, forward with the game, and they can give it to us sooner rather than later. I really look forward to it. Um, some people are saying, well, it should be free. Oh, the, the new chapter should be free, but I don't really care. I'm ready to pay for it if, if they need that to continue to pay their salaries, to continue working on the game and give us more content, fix bugs, make the game better, I'll gladly pay for the next chapter. It doesn't bother me. If you don't have the game at all, I did notice that it's on sale on Humble Bundle, I believe, for $11.99 right now. So if you don't have the game, you get it for, what is that, 40% off? I believe it's a $20 game base price. So it's a good deal. It's a good deal. I would take advantage of it if you're one of those that looks uh, looks inside the restaurant from the outside of the glass and wonders what it's like to play the game and you want to get in there. $11.99. I don't know. It's a pretty good deal. 
I've paid a lot more for some other games that I've gotten less playability out of. I can guarantee that. All right, so back to normal grinding for points. Uh, I might, I think Bill is up to like level 29 here. So even if I get to 30, I don't get another perk slot. So there isn't really any advantage for me to push him further. So I may just start saving points just to um, have them ready for new killer and new survivor to level them up quickly. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just stockpile the points. I have to tell my son so that he doesn't spend them. He said he got he got into a couple of games in the PTB late last night. And I wish he would have recorded it, but he's a little shy. So from what I saw and what he told me about parts I missed, it looked like it was some pretty hilarious content. So I wish he would have recorded it, but... Too bad. It was actually a, a person I played with um, in the PTB as well, Mr. Sandman, but they were playing Killer this time as the Wraith. And I don't know if he recognized my name from another game we were in together and he was going easy on my son. But my son was like pointing at him and he would go away and stuff. It was kind of funny. Just fooling around in the PTB because you're not really playing for points or ranks or anything, right? So you can... You can be as competitive or as casual as you want to in that environment, for sure. Okay, Jake. Oh, there's Michael Myers. I see him too, buddy. All right, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run from Michael Myers. It's going to be the name of the game. I'm going to keep an eye out for this silent fool so he doesn't sneak up on me. Oh, like that! What? Holy cow! got scratch me or what Michael don't stalk me get away from me he's stalking me stop stalking me get away from me Mike Oh, Mike. Mike, stop it. What? Keep working those gens, folks. He's scaring me. Oh, she paid for that one. Do that totem, and you're gonna bring him right over here to us. Okay, we had to wait for his tier three to cool down at least. Is he camping? Why are you waving? Is he hitting her? Is he seriously camping her? He's hitting her. Just do gens of everyone. He's gonna do that. There's nothing we can do. What choice do we have?
somebody wants to play the game that way, that's how you make them pay. Just do gens. It's actually a dumb strategy for him to do that. He's just announcing to everybody that he's camping. He still hasn't left her. Now she's finally dead. So where are we going to go after this? No way! Now I'm gonna get the camper treatment. What a time to wish you had decisive strike, huh? What else can you do if the guy's gonna camp you? Nothing really. I mean, they're, they're gonna be out of here. You're the best face camper. You play the game so good. Yeah, you do. Yes, you are the best player. You are the best player. Well, I guess it's my job now to make sure these guys get out. What an idiot. What a terrible way to play the game. So stupid. <laughs> this is the dumbest way to play the game ever. <laughs> Can't you take a karate class or something if you have these rage issues? I think you should take a karate class. What are you guys doing, man? Get out of here. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Don't get caught. I guess that's the <laughs> that's the moral of the story. Don't get caught. And they're out. Yay! Face camp for the win. <laughs> And he didn't even pip. Like, it wasn't even worth it. I got more points than he got. It wasn't even worth it. It's a stupid strategy. So dumb. Alright, what are you gonna do? Next one. Let's do it again. <laughs>